What's going on YouTube? Silver Skids here and today I'm going to be doing another unboxing and I gotta tell you that this one was a little rough I'm not gonna lie so I ordered this from Atmex and you know they're usually pretty good about the shipping I don't really think it was Atmex to be honest with you I think it was the United States Postal Service that messed up so you know if you're a stacker and you order something in line you're just waiting on pins and needles and you're checking the tracking every every five minutes to see where it's at, right? Well, it said that on the 18th it was supposed to arrive. So around 12 o'clock I went outside to go see where it was, to see if, what was in the mailbox. And sure enough, I had mail. And not only did I have mail, but I saw the mailman about a house and maybe two houses down taken off. So I was like, all right, definitely got it, right? So I go open it up. I do have mail, but I do not have my package, right? So I'm like, what's going on? So I message Atmex on their live chat from their website, and they say, hey, you know, uh, you know, it's only 12 o'clock. Uh, maybe it, they'll deliver it at the end of the day. Let's see what happens. You know, so call us before we close. They close right at 7, uh, 7 p.m., and uh, we'll go from there. So I was like, all right. So... I don't know, maybe it's around 5, 5.30, and, you know, I checked the tracking again, and it says, notice left, right? I'm like, notice left? What are y'all talking about? There's no notice. So I called the United States Postal Service, and I'm on hold for literally, like, 40 minutes, like, forever, right? Well, this nice guy, his name's Bob, right? He comes on, and he's just a super straight shooter, real nice guy. And he's basically telling me that the, the person that delivering the mail is just being lazy, that the box was probably there, they just glanced over it, and they already passed my house before they realized it. So they put some type of message saying, notice left, which was not left, I promise you, okay? So we, we, we talked for a little bit, and he, you know, he's reassuring me that, hey, you know, it, it's most likely going to be here tomorrow, just, you know, just wait. And if it's not here tomorrow, just call back and we can go from there. I said, all right. So I called uh, Amex back. I actually talked to a person this time. I think her name was Kelly, a very nice lady. And she basically was telling me the same thing. So, you know, it was just a little rough. You know, I just want to give you all that, just that heads up, that experience. So, uh, well, let's open it up. Let's see what we got here. Let's see here. cat's up here she's loving it that's harley quinn the silver cat just, just, no leave the camera alone yeah, i mean they package the hell out of this don't they There we go. Take all this out. Let's get rid of that. Well, I will tell you that I asked them in the notes below to please put the coin in the direct fit before shipping. They did not do that, but that's okay. Not a big deal. Not a deal breaker. All right. Let's see what else did we get. Oh, I don't know. Maybe a 2015 Somalian elephant with a what? A Ram Privy. Uh-oh. Well, guys, I got to tell you about this Ram Privy. I want to say this is one of the rarer of the Somalian elephants because only 3,000 of these were minted. And I'm also going to tell you that this was a fairly expensive Somalian coin, especially for being 2015. All right, so let's see here. Opening up the uh, invoice. Had a little bit of information, so y'all you know, don't know my true identity, so I can still go out at nighttime and stop bad guys. Let's see here. A 2015 one-ounce Somalian elephant with the Ram Privy 
cost $83.32. So quite expensive. And just so y'all know, I wasn't lying. Yeah. Please put the coin in the capsule before shipping. Thank you. All right. Oh, well. I guess they weren't trying to be that helpful, huh? But no, this is a very nice coin. Um, let me get my makeshift glove, which is just a sock. Let's check it out. Oops. Makeshift glove makes it hard to pick up things, huh? Let's see here. Just trying to position it. There we go. Ooh. Yeah, I guess I should probably just, you know, bite the bullet and buy some white gloves, huh? Let's put it in the capsule so we can handle it. Where's my knife, Hardy? In. I'll just reposition the camera so I can get a better angle to show y'all. And there's Harley again. Harley Queen! Alright, so yep. Ram Privy 2015. Somalian Elephant. I like it. It's very nice. And I like the fact that there's only 3,000 of these. Very, very small mintage of them. So I recommend getting them. I imagine that the premium on these are going to go pretty high in the future. So just a heads up. They are still available. You want to hold the coin? There you go. Well, guys, uh, I appreciate you watching. I hope you liked the video. I know this one was a little bit longer than normal, especially just for one coin. Uh, please stay tuned. I plan on getting a 2018 with a dog privy. So let's see how that turns out. All right, guys. Well, uh, please rate, sub, and comment. I appreciate it. Silver Skid signing out. Y'all take it easy. Oh, and Harley.